I've got the Google Pixel 4a right here and today I'm going to show you how to install Majisk so that you can patch your own boot.img file, the image file, and gain root access to your new Google smartphone. So Google recently released the factory images for the Google Pixel 4a. That allows us to manually download the firmware so that we can extract the boot image file. And that's what we're going to patch with Majisk in order to gain root access. Before we can begin this process, you need to make sure that you have the bootloader unlocked on your Google Pixel 4a. If you haven't already done that, look in the video description and I'm going to have a link to a previous tutorial that will walk you through the entire process so that you can unlock the bootloader. That has to be done before you can flash a modified boot image file to your device. If you're unfamiliar with how to do anything in this tutorial, again, look in the video, video description as I will have step-by-step -step instructions and even links to full things like how to install ADB and Fastboot tools if you haven't already done so. So again, we're starting with a Google Pixel 4a with an unlocked bootloader. We're going to go to the Majisk GitHub page. And we're just going to download the latest version of Majisk Manager. And open up that from Chrome so that we can install it. Once we have that done, we can go back into Chrome. You can either do this part on the smartphone or the PC. What we're doing is we need to download the full factory image, the full firmware for your Google Pixel 4a that also matches the current version of that firmware that you are on. So as you can see right here, if we look for the Sunfish section, you're going to see multiple firmware versions. This device is currently running the August security update. So we match the August security update. This is the unlocked version. It's not from Verizon. So we're going to grab this one. We tap that link button and that's going to download that firmware to the smartphone. Again, we can do this on the PC if we want, if you want. Once that firmware is downloaded, we need to extract the contents of that file. And then in that, you're going to find another compressed file that we need to extract again. It's in there that you're going to see a file named boot.img. Now, if, if you want, we can do this with, say, Solid Explorer or a file manager. I've already done this on the desktop, and I can show you how to do that right now. So again, this part, it doesn't matter if you do it on the PC or on the phone. But as you can see here, I've downloaded the firmware for my Pixel 4a that matches the security update that I'm currently running. Do not try to downgrade or use an older or newer boot image file. When I extract this file, it gives me this folder. And in that folder, I have another folder. So like I just said, you're going to find another compressed file within the files that you just extracted from the firmware. And it's actually in here, which I extract again, which creates this folder, that we have a whole bunch of files. 
So basically we're just digging into this firmware compressed file until we can find the boot.img file. So all we're doing here is we're taking that boot image file and we're copying it to the Google Pixel 4a so that we can patch it with Magisk. Now we can go into Magisk Manager we're going to see that it's telling us Magisk is not installed, which is correct. We're going to tap on Install, tap on Install again. From here, we're going to tap the Select and Patch a File option. And this is going to let us browse the files that we have on our device. I just switched over to the Downloads folder because that's where I copied the file to. You can see we have that boot image file right there. We're just going to select it. Magisk Manager is going to take that file, patch it, install the Magisk SU binaries, and then it's going to output the patched version of that file in the download folder, and it's going to name that file Magisk underscore patched dot IMG. So we're going to connect this smartphone to the PC and copy this file to our PC because we need to flash the file back to the phone with Fastboot. After we have copied the Magisk underscore patched image file from the Google Pixel 4a to the PC. We then need to boot this smartphone into fast boot mode. And I've shown you how to do this before. We we're just going to press and hold the power button and the volume down buttons at the same time after we have powered down the device. This is going to put us into fast boot mode. And from here, we're going to connect the Google Pixel 4a to our PC with a USB cable. So like I said, you're going to have to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed. And what you're going to need to do is copy or move that Magisk underscore patched file that we took from the Google Pixel 4a. And we're going to toss that into the same folder that has our ADB and fastboot files in. Then we're gonna open up a command prompt or a Windows PowerShell or a terminal in the same folder as our ADB and fastboot tools. And we're gonna type out the command fastboot space flash space boot space magisk underscore patched Dot IMG. So what we're doing here is we are initiating the fastboot.exe file. We're telling it to flash, aka send a file from our PC, and it's going to be this magisk underscore patched IMG file, and we're going to send that to the boot partition. We're just going to go ahead and press enter on the keyboard. You can see it sent that file to the boot partition and it sent it OK. And then it wrote that file and wrote it to that partition OK. As long as you got two OK messages from that command we did, everything is good. You can either reboot from Fastboot or we can turn our attention back to the Google Pixel 4a, make sure that the start option is highlighted, and then press the power button to force the, devi the device to reboot. So what we've done is we have taken the kernel or, or the boot image from our device, even though we just grabbed a copy of it. We patched it with Magisk, and then we overwrote the file on our actual device.
With that done, we can go ahead and open Magisk Manager now. And before where it said Magisk is not installed, now we're gonna to be told Magisk is actually installed. We can even go in and open up Root Checker. and verify that we have root access on the Google Pixel 4a.